Welcome to our in-depth exploration of Rudyard Kipling's celebrated poem, Birds of Prey March. At Poemalia, we strive to provide insightful analyses and interpretations of timeless literary works. Join us as we delve into Kipling's masterful use of language and the profound messages conveyed within this iconic piece. Let's get started. Birds of Prey, March by Rudyard Kipling is a narrative poem that captures the experiences of soldiers during a military march. The poem alternates between quatrains and couplets, with a chorus-like refrain emphasizing the inevitability of death. Kipling uses colloquial language, vivid sensory imagery, and military tone to create an authentic representation of the soldiers' experiences. Major themes include the harsh realities of war, the inevitability of death, camaraderie and resilience, the impact of war on relationships, and the individual versus authority. The poem reflects Kipling's military connection, his broader literary approach, and serves as a precursor to war poetry that emerged during and after World War I, showcasing his ambivalence towards the human cost of war and empire. Let's go over the structure of the poem. Birds of Prey, March by Rudyard Kipling, is structured as a narrative poem with a combination of quatrains and couplets, using a mixture of rhyme schemes and incorporating a chorus-like refrain. The poem is written in a colloquial language with a distinct military tone, reflecting the experiences of soldiers during a military march. Quatrains and Couplets The poem is composed of stanzas that alternate between quatrains, four-line stanzas, and couplets, two-line stanzas. The quatrains provide detailed descriptions and observations of the soldiers' experiences, while the couplets serve as a chorus-like refrain, emphasizing the poem's central theme of the inevitability of death and the soldier's powerlessness in the face of fate. Rhyme Scheme The rhyme scheme in the quatrains is generally A-A-B-B, although some variations exist, such as A-B-C-C in the fourth quatrain. The couplets follow a simple A-A rhyme scheme. This combination of rhyme schemes creates a rhythm and structure that mirrors the soldier's march. Colloquial language. The poem is written in a vernacular style, using slang, dialect, and casual language to create a sense of authenticity and familiarity. This helps to emphasize the common experiences and emotions of the soldiers, making their situation relatable to the reader. Military Tone The poem's structure is infused with military elements, such as commands, front, wheel, time, march, alt, cheer, which are used to create a sense of urgency and regimentation. This underscores the poem's theme of the soldier's subjugation to authority and the harsh realities of military life. Chorus-like refrain The refrain, which is repeated throughout the poem in the couplets, highlights the poem's central theme and serves as a reminder of the soldier's fate. The refrain's repetition creates a sense of inevitability and reinforces the soldier's grim outlook on their future. Now let's go over the language and imagery of the poem. In Birds of Prey March, Rudyard Kipling uses vivid language and imagery to paint a realistic picture of the soldier's experiences during a military march. The poem's language and imagery contribute to the overall atmosphere, mood, and themes. Colloquial language. Kipling employs colloquial language and dialect, incorporating slang and informal expressions that reflect the soldier's speech and background. This use of language creates a sense of authenticity, familiarity, and camaraderie among the soldiers. Examples include trousies, trousers, ouses, houses, hungry, hungry, and god, god. Sensory Imagery The poem is rich in sensory imagery, which evokes the sights, sounds, and feelings of the soldier's march. Kipling describes the mud caking around their trousers, the dripping of the color casing, and the rain they endure. The sensory details help to immerse the reader in the soldier's experiences, allowing them to better understand the hardships they face. Dark and Morbid Imagery the poem contains dark and morbid imagery that emphasizes the theme of death and the soldier's grim fate. Birds of prey such as jackals, kites, eagles, and crows are repeatedly mentioned, symbolizing the inevitability of death 
and the soldiers' powerlessness in the face of their fate. The imagery of the birds waiting to devour the soldiers' bodies highlights the bleakness of their situation. Visual imagery. Kipling employs visual imagery to create vivid scenes that illustrate the soldiers' experiences. For example, he describes the faces of the women in the houses, the transport filled with soldiers, and the Orse guards watching over them. This visual imagery helps to create a mental picture of the soldiers' surroundings and circumstances. Contrast. The poem contrasts the soldiers' hardships with moments of humor, resilience, and determination. Kipling describes the soldiers cheering in the face of adversity and finding fun in their bleak situation. This contrast serves to humanize the soldiers, showing that despite their dire circumstances, they maintain their spirit and camaraderie. Now let's go over themes and messages. In Birds of Prey March, Rudyard Kipling explores various themes and messages that shed light on the soldiers' experiences during a military march, as well as the broader implications of war and the human condition. The poem's main themes and messages include the harsh realities of war. Kipling exposes the grim and challenging aspects of war, focusing on the soldiers' struggles as they march in harsh conditions, endure physical and mental hardships, and face an uncertain future. The poem highlights the disconnect between the romanticized notion of war and the actual experiences of the soldiers. Inevitability of Death The repeated refrain featuring the birds of prey, jackals, kites, eagles, and crows, symbolizes the omnipresent specter of death looming over the soldiers. The refrain emphasizes the inevitability of death and the soldiers' powerlessness against their fate, as they march towards an uncertain future. Camaraderie and Resilience Despite the difficult circumstances they face, the soldiers in the poem display a strong sense of camaraderie and resilience. They find moments of humor, cheer, and defiance in the face of adversity, highlighting the human ability to endure hardships and maintain hope even in the darkest situations. The Impact of War on Relationships The poem addresses the strain that war places on relationships, particularly between the soldiers and their loved ones left behind. It emphasizes the emotional turmoil experienced by the soldiers and their families as they are separated and face the possibility of never seeing each other again. The Individual versus Authority Kipling's poem depicts the soldiers as individuals caught in a system beyond their control, subject to the orders and whims of those in power. The military commands and the regimented structure of the poem reflect the soldiers' subjugation to authority and their loss of agency in the face of war. Finally, let's talk about the context of the poem. To provide an analysis of Birds of Prey, March by Rudyard Kipling in terms of context, it is crucial to understand the historical and literary background that influenced the poem's creation. Historical context. Rudyard Kipling, 1865-1936, was an English author and poet who lived during the height of the British Empire. His works often reflect the experiences and perspectives of individuals living in colonial settings, or serving in the military. Birds of Prey March can be situated within this context as it sheds light on the experiences of British soldiers during military marches, which were a common aspect of military life during the colonial era. Kipling's Military Connection Kipling had a strong connection to the military throughout his life, as his family had a history of military service, and he was an avid supporter of British imperialism. His first-hand knowledge of military life and his empathy for the soldiers are evident in Birds of Prey March. The poem's vivid and authentic portrayal of the soldiers' experiences can be attributed to Kipling's familiarity with and understanding of military culture. Literary Context Kipling's works are often characterized by their use of dialect, colloquial language, and their focus on the everyday lives of ordinary people. Birds of Prey, March, reflects these traits, as the poem employs vernacular speech and focuses on the experiences of common soldiers rather than glorifying war or celebrating heroism. 
The poem's style and subject matter align with Kipling's broader literary approach, which seeks to provide a realistic and relatable representation of the human experience. The Influence of War Poetry Birds of Prey March can be seen as a precursor to the war poetry that emerged during and after World War I. While Kipling's poem predates the war, it shares similarities with the later works of war poets such as Wilfred Owen and Siegfried Sassoon, who also sought to expose the harsh realities of war and challenge the romanticized notions of heroism and glory. Kipling's Ambivalence While Kipling was a staunch supporter of British imperialism, his works often reveal a more complex and ambivalent view of the human cost of war and empire. Birds of Prey March highlights the suffering and uncertainty faced by the soldiers, illustrating the darker side of military life and questioning the true cost of war and imperial ambitions. Thank you for joining us in exploring Rudyard Kipling's Birds of Prey March. For more poems and analysis, please visit poemalia.com.